did you really think you could steal from me? See what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Can we build that? Come on, I'm not sure we will. Get out of Get out of here. Survivors of the Sierra Madre thought about gathering at the fountain and waiting for the courier. In the end, the caller's silence made them uneasy, and the fear of turning on each other made them hesitate and leave the goodbyes unspoken. The radio message at the fountain was enough for them, and there was no need to add another farewell on top of all they had suffered. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment, and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. 
Vegas still survived out there in the Mojave. Its sights, sounds, and casinos ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino? We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fortunes. Begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 Wait a moment. Before you go. I... We... Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. Letting go... Difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Family. Those to care for, and those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre and I will hold you in our hearts. Wait a moment before you go. I...
nobody knows who's gonna win, Legion or NCR. Might not make much of a difference around here. Drove the raiders off. No casualties. In the meantime, patrol's back. They're late. I hope they got a good excuse. What took... When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling.
There have been sightings of rangers in black armor. The best the profligates have to offer. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Evening. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. I don't remember getting informed about any new transfers to this post. 
The Legion's got a major crossing point down at Cottonwood Cove, so we keep an eye on them from up here. You know, if McCarran would send us some more men, we could do more than watch. Skirmishes, mostly. The Legion raiding parties usually fall back when they know it's us they're up against. The Legion's been sending raiding parties across the river in larger numbers lately. We don't have the men at this post to intercept them all. Carry on. Gotta wonder what the hell a civilian is doing here. What, again? Didn't I just change those damn things? All right, fine. Show me the new codes. Ranger military outpost. We're keeping an eye on the Legion activities south of here at Cottonwood Cove. Nothing going on down there at the moment. Just the usual slave trafficking. Poor bastards. Undoubtedly. Rangers are tough nuts to crack, though, and any force small enough to launch a surprise attack isn't going back in one piece. On the other hand, if the Legion goes for a full-scale attack, we'll see him coming, fall back, and wait for reinforcements. So we know what they'll do, and they know what we'll do, so we just sit around and keep an eye on each other. Yeah. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I'm not supposed to let civilians just walk around this place. There better be a good reason for you being here. Very well. You can tell Reyes that this station is secure. Well, when there's trouble regular NCR troops can't handle, they send in a ranger. Problem solved. We're also responsible for keeping the borders of the NCR secure, scouting out threats, that sort of thing. I'm in charge of the radio, hence the title comm officer. I'd much rather be out on patrol, since nothing much happens around here. Ma'am.
What's up? You did? Where? Oh my god, I mean, uh, I, I thought... I don't even know what I thought might have happened to him. But you don't have a this is good news expression on your face. You killed him? But it doesn't matter. He died when we all retreated to Hidden Valley. I didn't expect to see him again. No one did. Did he say anything when you met him? Anything... Anything at all? Where did you get this? Guess I was right about the bad news, huh? Same look Elder McNamara always gave me when I was up for promotion. All right. I'll watch it. That was... That was hard to watch. The parts I understood? Didn't matter. Past all the garbage, all it amounted to was goodbye. Sorry. Feel a little out of it. Head spinning a bit. Oh. Oh! I think he left me a gift. Maybe I can use it better than he did. Let's go make trouble. See you around. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress?
This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly, it's mostly intact, even after all that time. For about 10 years now, toughest training I've ever done, and was the proudest day of my life when I got my Ranger badge. Did you know that the first battle at Hoover Dam was won because of the Rangers? Legion had the numbers, but we had the skill. Ranger Station Alpha used to be the frontline outpost for NCR. When we moved onto the dam, this station has fallen into more a support role. So long. This post isn't someplace a civilian ought to be. All right. She radioed ahead and mentioned that somebody was coming by. Odd that she'd send a civilian instead of a trooper, though. Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week, but they always end up floating downriver with holes in their heads. Don't get killed out there.
the Brotherhood.
you're here to sell something, we don't want any. No problem. Hey, do me a favor when you get back to Reyes and tell her that we don't need any more damn ammo. Wouldn't mind more water, though. You think I haven't tried? Every time I do, Camp Golf acknowledges the situation. And soon after that, more ammo. We're not gonna die of thirst anytime soon, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Uh, it's not my call to make. You'd have to clear it with Ranger Erickson. All right. We keep getting deliveries of ammunition for some reason. I don't mind target practice, but there isn't all that much to shoot at out here. All right. This is the frontier of NCR territory, and we're the first line of defense. You won't find much in the way of civilization east of here. South of here is Camp Guardian, but they've been having radio trouble, so they've been silent for a while now. Careful out there. What brings you to Ranger Station Bravo? You're not stationed here, but your rep with the NCR speaks for itself. It's mostly rifle rounds, but I'll throw in a few boxes of pistol ammo. I really shouldn't be doing this for you, but there's no way we're gonna use all of this or be able to carry it with us. We're here to make sure the Legion doesn't try to sneak around Lake Mead and come at NCR from another direction. Yep. 